Hey guys, welcome to my another reaction for 2091 Rivera Israel. And as you know, he did make another video. He made another Go Animate Loud House series, episode 12, A Choice of Destiny. And as you know, they're, that they're going to know if Lincoln will find a way to get back home and Lola's passing out every clothes that she's... She wants to get Lincoln back home and because Lola wants her stay wants Lincoln to stay home because he kept hanging out with Ronnie Ann, it's because Ronnie Ann is Lincoln's girlfriend. And as you know, we're gonna start this reaction. Three, two, one, clickety clack. We are on and let's go. I can't believe that Lincoln is not a brother. I've never felt this way before. I never have. These feelings are completely shocking to me. It's called anger, Lenny. You have a lot of anger in your heart. Knowing that we have been lied to, it is a normal human emotion. It happens to all of us all the time. I am very scared, Lucy. I have never felt anything like this before. i never been angry before. It feels so weird and scary. It makes me want to do something I've never done before. It's all right, Lenny. Anger, as I said before, is a normal human emotion. It's just that your heart is always full of joy and warmth, but you never get mad. You're scared because you are for the first time ever experiencing this emotion. Anyone who hardly or never gets angry, when they experience it firsthand, always gets scared. As they are not used to this emotion. Wow, that is amazing. Do you ever get angry, Lucy? Yes, I do, Lenny. I know that it is hard to see my emotions, as I hide them all the time. But I can assure you that even though it looks like I am not angry, I am furious right now. Golly, I sure hope that I can control my anger. I'm just scared that I might end up like Lori. Anger is different, depending on the people who have the emotion. Lori my anger was powerful. Anger due to stress of having to look after the ten of us, and now giving the fact that we now know the truth on who mom and dad really are. And the fact that Lincoln Loud is no longer our brother is only going to elevate her anger. This is why people have to take classes, because there are some people that can't control their anger, and it gets the better of them to the point it can't have deadly disasters. Devastating disasters? You mean like what happened to me? Exactly. Oh dear, this is even more scarier than I thought. But right now, I couldn't care less about my emotions right now. All I want is my Lincoln back. Agreed. Me. Okay. I don't believe it. I truly, truly can't believe that Linky is not my brother. For so many years, I thought he was. Now that he is not, I don't know how to feel right now. I don't understand. I should be feeling more sad than anything right now. Yet, for some reason, I'm a lot more calmer than I thought. Sometimes, I scare myself at times, but it's just that, I don't know, it's almost as if I am, happy he is not my brother. At the fashion now store, that I think about she it, got him. Was my shopping trip at Rotira Attire even worth it? I mean, Atira, what is the point of me having a plan to win back a boy who is not even our brother? I don't think it will make a difference now. If I unleash my plan now, it won't go the way I had hoped. Instead it will look like 10 girls are dressing up to impress a random boy off the street and getting him to fall for us. And Ronnie Ann will take him away forever. Wait Th a minute. That's his girlfriend. Maybe Lincoln not being our you know, you know relationship plan, always take care of each other. Can do our plan, and the of us can compete against they, Ronnie Ann. Some girls Harry, protect their boyfriend. You know that, Lola. It makes me even more confident that is than Lincoln's before. girlfriend. Once we are rid of well, you're Ann, just a racist. Will take over in Ronnie Ann's place. Lincoln will be so happy in the end. You can't do that. Good. Everything is ready. I think I will change my clothes real quick. Then I will go and give everyone else their clothes. I swear, Linky, you will be ours. Perfect. I swear this is going to be amazing. Now I better give everyone else their clothes. Today will finally be the day that our Linky comes home to us. I can't believe Mom and Dad lied to us. Brother or not, I just hope that my poor Linky is okay. Don't call him Lincoln. He's not hey, your brother man. since he's not adopted. Now, kid. I am in no mood for. Um, excuse me, little girl. 
But what are you doing in our That's house? That's Lola. Where are your parents? Little girl. Ha ha ha. That is a good one, Luan. It's me, Lola Loud. I just have new clothes on a different hairstyle and new makeup. Oh my gosh. Lola, is that you? My goodness, yes. I didn't even recognize you in your new clothes. It sure is me. I am still the same pretty face that everyone knows me for. But I don't understand. Why are you dressed like mm. that? And why the new makeup? Your next pageant isn't for another eight months. Who said anything about these clothes being for a pageant? Dang. In fact, I bought these clothes with my own allowance money that I have been saving before mom and dad's betrayal. And got them from Rotira Attire. Don't you ever bring up those two strangers again, Lola. I'm already depressed enough at the fact that they lied to all of us about Lincoln Loud for so long. And didn't even bother to tell us the truth. Lola, uh, what gives? Why are you happy? You should be sad, angry, and depressed like the rest of us. Oh, I'm happy because, if you think about it, maybe just maybe, Lincoln not being our blood might just be a good thing. Lola, how dare you? Why would you say things like that? I know you are the most brattiest amongst our family, but I didn't think you would stoop to this low in being happy that we never had brother. Settle down, will you? That is not what I meant. Oh. Then what the heck did you mean? Why should I tell you now, Miss Comedian Hot-Tempered Princess? Keep talking to me that way and you won't get anything out of me. Lola, I'm not playing. Do you see this face? Does this look like the face of a comedian? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in no mood right now, Lola. You better beat her so up, Luann. Okay, okay, I get it already. You're sad that Lincoln is not a part of us. I get it. Grow some thicker skin, and hear me out. Now that we got this silly altercation out of the way, I can now go on, and explain why I think it is a good thing, on why Lanky is not our brother. It will be on deaf ears, because I don't want to hear it. Do you want Lincoln to come back to us or not? That's what I thought. Now listen Luan, the fate of our Linky is within our hands. Only we have the power to get our Linky back from Ronnie Ann. And what exactly do you propose to do about that? We compete, like any girl does for the ones they love. But, how on earth are and we And you all girls, it's all your fault that you beat him like bullies, on, since whatever. he's not your brother. I swear. You beat him up like a bully. A like a girl bear, of bullies. I will murder you. Just open it. Alright, alright. Relax, pageant breath. Clothes? Are you kidding me? How the hell are clothes going to help us compete with Ronnie M? I swear, Luan, if you are acting like this just to make me angry, consider this a success. I'm seven years old, and even I can figure out why clothes will be the key to us competing with Ronnie M. And that is to make ourselves look prettier. So Ronnie Ann loved you him. It. And how do you even know this is going to work? For all I know, this stupid Sorry, idea my just might scare Lincoln away as well. Have you ever thought of that, dummy? No, I haven't, because this will not fail. We just have to try it. And if it does? If it does, then we lose our Linky forever. Do you really want that to happen? Just go and at least try the new clothes, will you? Fine, I'll do it. But I'm doing this for Lincoln, not for you. I swear, Luann, Lincoln will be all over us. Once you're done, changing, give me the bag and I will give it to the rest. Whatever. Mm. Ronnie and want him forever if they all were right. married I'm together done. and forever. Okay. Now could you come if they want so to I make kids, they can. No way. I look stupid in this. Darn it, Luann. This is for Lincoln. Stop with the crap already and come out right now. Fine. Whatever. But I swear if you laugh, I will kill you. Oh, God. I am not going to laugh at that, not going to lie, because you this is so, so cute. this I is so like embarrassing. Out of 1975. That's not going to work, black. Lola. You look pretty. The only thing I look like right now is a hippie girl from the 70s. If Lincoln were to see me in this outfit, he would either one laugh at me until he dies, or run off into the wind in terror not wanting to be around me. Well, I think you look good, whether you like it or not. If he, if he laughs, if he laughs at her, it's your fault, Lola. It is going to be I'm your going fault. To give the other girls their clothes. Remember to keep your clothes in your closet until I say so. Fine, whatever. And for your sake, this better get Lincoln back. Now I'm going to go change back into my normal clothes and out of this ridiculous outfit. I heard that, Luan. Oh. Better be in that closet by the time I get back. Otherwise, we are going to have a problem. Now get your butt moving right now, G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R
God, I swear sometimes I want to prank Lola so bad to the point that her pageant bratty ways would end once and for all. Aren't you yes, retired or no? it was a big shocker. It is terrible, Sam. I am completely devastated. I wish this was a nightmare, Sam. I really do. But tragically it is not. The evidence is clear. Mom and Dad lie to us. And Lincoln is not our blood. We are all broken hearted right now. Especially Lily, who hasn't said anything ever since the tragic discovery. I know, Sam. I know. Thanks for your advice. I love you too. Wow. Oh, she's an LGBT. Yeah. She is an LGBT. I know, Sam. Sam and Luna are are both gays, but no need to say that word. But it's okay. But it it could. It it is appropriate. I'll say that Luna is an LGBT. Comment below or wait. The comments will be disabled. But you can comment below. On my other videos, and you you can tell me if Luna Loud is an LGBT. I just have new clothes and new makeup on. Really? Wow, that is some transformation you did to yourself, Lola. Lily and I didn't even know it was you. Wow, is my new clothes and makeup that good to the point that no one in my own family could even recognize or know that it is me? This is really surprising. Lola, is everything okay? Yeah, I am fine. Luna, sorry, I guess I'm still trying to recover from the news of Lincoln not being our blood. I see. Don't worry, Lola. We will try to recover from this somehow. Lola, what is that bag in your hand? Oh, this. This Luna is the key to our Linky coming back to us. I got clothes for every single one of us. While I was at Rotira Attire, I already gave Luan hers. And I was wondering, would you two be willing to try yours as well? Well, to be honest, I don't like fashion that much, Lola. Luan but if this is for was Lincoln, embarrassed I guess of I that. will be happy to see what you have. Yay, go ahead, Luna, and try them on. Lily, I know you are not talking right now, but if you want to try some of the outfits I got... You because she's a toddler. Too. I'll be right back, Lily. A little bit of toddler. I found something pretty cool. I am putting it on right now. Just give me a second. You got it, Luna. I can't wait to see what you picked, huh? Oh, hi, Lily. So are you excited to see Luna come out in her new outfit? Okay, Lola. I am done. I am coming out. <laughs> well, girls. Wow. What do you think? Wow. You look amazing, Luna. If Sam would, would look, so delighted to would, see you would, in would, that. would see you, uh, she, you would, really think so, she would make her oh, heart tickle. I so. Thanks, Lola. Since you have a new look. So, Lily, wanna try on some clothes for yourself, in order to help us win our Linky back from Ronnie and... That means yes. Ha ha ha. Come, Lily. The bag is right here. Plenty of outfits to choose from. I swear, this will be the best week ever. Inside Lori and Lenny's room. Oh my gosh. Lincoln, is that really you? Lincoln are you okay? Is Where are you? Calling. Lori, slow down. Ha ha ha. I am just fine. Thank goodness. Lincoln, we have been looking for you for almost two and a half weeks. Please, tell me. Where are you? I'm sorry, Lori. I can't tell you where I am. At least not yet. Lincoln, please. You don't understand. We are a nervous wreck right now. And are scared to death that something is going to happen to you. Please just to tell me. Lori, you have to understand. There is a good reason why I don't want to tell you the girls where I am. Lincoln, if this is payback for the way I have been treating you in our show, including grounding you for destroying my phone and forcing you to stay in Lola and Alana's room, then please just please consider it taught. I just want you to come back to me safe. All right, Lori. And Lori, you, you just beat him up like a bully. Park. Since when he was a little I just boy. I to talk to you about something important. I was thinking about running away. And you forced him to go so on on a double date with Ronnie one. Ann Would with Bobby. Since he accidentally park? hurt her feelings. I promise I will be there. Good to see you there, Lori. I will meet you there tonight, which will be in about two more hours. I will be there waiting. I'll meet you there. Lincoln and Ronnie Goodbye, Ann are in Lincoln. great in relationship. Hello, Lincoln. Wow. That is the first time I heard that come out of your mouth, Lori. Anyway, see ya. Bye. I can't believe this. After two and a half weeks, Lincoln has called me. I am so happy. I just want to cry right now. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I am going to see my Lincoln after two and a half weeks. Lori, I'm back from the Roca City ballpark and...
Oh my gosh, Lori, are you all right? Why are you crying? I mean, you look very happy. What happened? Something wonderful, man. Something wonderful. Oh, what happened that was so wonderful? I mean, how can you recover this fast after learning that Lincoln is not even our brother? Guess who just called me not long ago? You, you spoke with Lincoln. I sure did, Lynn. It was not too long ago. Oh my god, I can't believe Lincoln called you. Oh, thank god. Is he okay? Where is he? Well, to be honest, Lynn, I don't have a clue. He never told me where he was. But he is willing to talk to me at the Roga City Park tonight. Um, okay, so he wants to meet us at the park. That is fine with me. What time should the ten of us go and get him? The others are going to be so delighted to hear this. Um, Lynn, I am sorry, but you girls are not coming. Lincoln only wishes to speak with me, and no one else, at least not yet. What? Why can't we come? Why does Lincoln or I guess only it, want to talk or I hope to it's a setup? Why can't he speak with all of us? Lynn, is this Clyde is over there? You to decide. When Lincoln called me, I heard him say he was going to run away from us. Fortunately, Lana talked him out of it. Even though he is right now on the fence, he is willing to come back home. If I can go and meet him alone, if we all go he will never trust us again and he will run away. That is why I have to see him alone. Wait, Lincoln was planning on running away. He was at first Lynn, but thankfully he is thinking twice now, mostly thanks to Lana talking with him about it. I see, well I just hope that Lincoln makes the right choice and returns home, that I am scared for 100% Lori. However, you did tell me that he wanted to talk to you about something. Do you think that search is something that he wants to talk to you about is the fact of him no longer being our blood? Do you think he knows Lori? I'm not sure, Lynn. The way he sounded on the phone, he sounded as if he wanted to discuss something, but I don't think it is what we think. If Lincoln knew about this, he would have scolded me on the phone already. But if he doesn't know about this, then I suggest we keep quiet about it until the time is right to tell him. Keep quiet, Lori. Then we would be lying to Lincoln. We will be pulling the same crap that Mom and Dad pulled on us last year. No, we won't win. We will tell Lincoln the truth. But first thing is first. We have to make sure he comes home first, before we tell him. But then again, remember, we don't know if he knows. He might or might not know that he is adopted. So that is the scariest part right now that we have to worry about. When I go and talk to Lincoln tonight, I am going to see what he says. If it has nothing to do with the fact that he is adopted, then that means he doesn't know. And it would be from there, where we will sit him down in the family room and tell him. Okay, Lori. I hope you know what you are doing. I'll keep quiet and pretend I never heard anything about Lincoln calling you, and I will just sit down in my room for a bit. I hope Lincoln comes home. Don't worry, Lynn. I promise. Lincoln will be back home tonight. I know it. But I know this, once he comes home I am never going to release him from my arms. I better get to the park now. Hey Lori wait. Before you go, I just wanted to know one thing. Do you really think you will be able to convince Lincoln to come home, even when he doesn't know about the fact that he is indeed not our blood? Right now Lynn, I am confident that he will come back. Remember he is our Lincoln no matter what, and no one will ever take him from me. Um, I'm sorry I meant all of us as well. I hope you're right, Lori. Oh, don't worry, Lynn. This will go very well. You will see. Now head back inside. If anyone asks, tell them I went out for a little drive, okay? I will, Lori. Good luck. What in Hey! Well now, what do we have here? It would look like that Lincoln Loud so-called sisters, that so-called love him so much are not really his sisters after all. So Which Ronnie Ann heard everything. Years, they have been lying to Lincoln, ha ha ha, verbal proof. Once Lincoln finds out about this, he will pull the plug on the Loud sisters, once and for all. Best of all, I will never have to deal with those pesky loud girls ever again. Lincoln will be all mine. Ha ha ha. Let's see how Lori is going to explain this away. Oh my god. That ain't good. Wow. And if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe and see you later tonight, I think.
on the 4th of July on the celebration on Independence Day. Go subscribe to this channel, 2091 Rivera Israel. I'll, I'll leave you guys on the link on the description below. And subscribe my channel, drop a like, and, and well, actually, my comment's going to be disabled next, I think. So, see you later, everyone.